I'm not going to let him get close enough to sniff until he's not trying to drag me, that he's not vocalizing. Ideally, I would like him to be able to perform commands, but I know he gets over threshold pretty quickly. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Good, Tiffy. Let's go. good way for them to kind of build a rapport but when he realizes that they don't even need to be interacting like they can both just walk that he should kind of settle down a little bit okay. I mean, he's already settling some which yeah. is good maybe we'll give him just like two more <laughs> Good boy, Tiffy. Come here, Max. Good boy. Yep, good boy. 
good boy tips. You go back inside and watch through this window. Okay. He immediately became more defensive as soon as you came out. What's that? Who's that? Who's this? Taxi. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Come here. Come on. here is, mm -hmm. see if we can get him to give us any obedience commands. Okay. Um, regardless of whether or not he will, we'll mm -hmm. give it another minute just to let them hang out. And okay. then I'm going to take Pax out and we'll just repeat this greeting process. Okay. Like we've done with the door inside mm -hmm. and just get him used to like, just because there's another dog around doesn't mean uh -huh. I need to freak out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good boy. Hi, Bobby. Come here, Chips. See, when it comes to the dog socialization, I definitely don't want to force it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, him being yeah. very attached to you you just kind of being near another dog is one good for him to see that you trust this uh -huh. dog but then also that it's not a big deal if he is worse when you're around it usually is a combination of him being protective mm -hmm. and then him using you to empower his bad behavior where i think up until recently like we just didn't know what to do mm -hmm. when he was offering those big behaviors mm -hmm. and so he was probably getting some reinforcement so when you're around, he's just going off back to old habits when he's not sure what to do. He just mm -hmm. needs more practice, which is fine. That's pretty normal. The fact that you're not barking and carrying on anymore, that's fine. I'll drop his leash if he tries to run away. Okay. So. Yeah, we definitely don't want him to feel cornered. Um, okay. So right. us keeping the leash may make mm. him feel that way. Any time he's getting exposure where he's not mm -hmm. super worked up. Good boy, Tippy. Thanks, baby. And what you may notice being different between his interactions with Pax versus his interactions with another dog is Pax does not engage when he is uncomfortable. Like while Tip, Tippy was sniffing him, mm -hmm. I mean, Pax is like eyes away, not engaged because he knows if I look at you, you're going to get uncomfortable. Uh, whereas another dog who isn't as well socialized mm -hmm. is just going to want to be fixating on him and that's going to make him uncomfortable. So you may notice he has a harder time settling with dogs that don't have the same level of exposure that Pax mm -hmm. does. But it is good for him to start building his social circle with mm -hmm. dogs that are really easy. And then we progressively show him that, yeah, not every dog is this easy, but it doesn't mean you need to do anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I will take care of it. If practicing in his territory is always going to be harder. But the fact that he was able to settle and disengage and seems pretty neutral now, like yeah. he's not hiding. He yeah, definitely doesn't, so... like, love having packs in yeah. his yard. But the thing is, they will always go back to behaviors they've rehearsed. So if that's such a thing you've done for two years, they, that's just going to be the default until he's had enough practice to build a new default behavior. Mm -hmm. So since he seems to have chilled out a lot, I'll have you pick up the leash. I'm going to take Pax outside okay. the gate, and we'll just repeat this whole okay. process. Okay, all right. Everybody. Okay. Good Baby. Good job. Yeah, like his tail is up too. He mm -hmm. seems even more relaxed. That's great. And you can, like we do with people, indicate that it's okay to greet, telling him say hi and see if he wants to. He doesn't you can have go to. Say hi. Go say hi to Good boy, Tip. Walk him over, 
but that's fine. Hey. Okay. So we'll practice that a little bit more. I'll just ask the tags mm -hmm. to bark and then have them work on settling. <laughs> situation where we drop the leash and he's doing fine, then yeah, that's where I think affection is good, but then this is better if you want to start walking him over the green. No, say hi. say hi. say hi. say hi. He's a big boy, isn't he? Different than a little Shelby. Yeah, that's right. Good boy. That's a good boy. You're doing such a good job, buddy. 